Now, I was gonna do another video, but I got bored. I was gonna narrate this thing. It's my, uh, SCP fanfiction, even though I'm part of the actual site and can turn it into a SCP reality. But, no. I'm gonna do the thing. I'm gonna do a tier list again, because I think the last one was kind of crap. Um, the reason that my video got deleted, or both of them, was because I had a bookmark up here that, um linked to the college that I go to, so I had to remove that and I had to re-upload the video that I had and cover it, so if you see that, that's why it looks weird. Anyway, tier list time. This is a tier list of my favorite shows. Okay, um, we're just kind of gonna go, we're just kind of going to go down the, uh, the list. Of images. Okay, Clone High first. So, um, I heard about this one from the memes. Actually, no, specifically, the fuck, uh, sorry. I heard about Clone High because I was watching, um, an animation YouTuber, and he was like, yeah, this is really, really good, you should watch it. And I did, and it was good. I liked it. I love the concept of clones of historical figures. I like um, the character development that we see um, among them and how they're sort of not as they seem. Um, the gay dads, very, very nice, even if they act a bit stereotypical. Uh, yeah. It's just nice to see what they worked in along with the... Uh, Plot lines. I'm just sad that it got cancelled because of Gandhi. Um, yeah. I'm going to put it in the S tier. No, actually, A tier. Because it would be in the S tier, but Abe. Abe can suck my cock. Metaphorical cock. Um, if anybody knows the show, then they know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I'm gonna try to avoid spoilers here. Last video, last tier list video had spoilers in it. Alright, next is Avatar, The Last Airbender. Now, immediately my impression of it, um, first of all, all I can basically remember from my younger days was I, I thought that Katara's name was Gitara. So, yeah, that was funny. Um, I really like the element system of it. I like the story, I like the character development, I like the exploration of, like, relationships between different people, it doesn't really matter what it is. Zuko, I love his arc so much. Um, I like whatever was going on with Toph and what she did. Toph is, like, 10 out of 10, love her. Um, yeah, element system, great. I have the hands of an airbender, fun fact. Um... Yeah. The story, you know, I feel like it was just very, very nice. Very good time. Yeah, that's not very descriptive, but you know what I mean. Mm. Okay, next is Daria. So, Daria was a show made in, like, the late, late 90s. Like, I'm talking cusp of 2000s late 90s um i watched it on hulu i binge watched it for a little bit accidentally started talking like daria um <laughs> yeah because i do that sometimes i don't know why i like the story of it i like the characters um that jane girl is very very cute i also what i personally remember from this is like the look that it gave me personally into what it was like to live at the time in like the cusp of a new millennium and just what that was like for the people who lived at that time. I mean, it wasn't really that long ago, but I'm like, I don't know. I don't know what it was like. It was cool. It was also interesting to see the technology of the time. So I'm gonna put that in the A tier. <clears throat> I don't have much to say about the plot. 
and like the standard teen stuff and it was very very cool but since I don't really remember too much about it I can't say much all right next is gravity falls which is an immediate s tier I love the setting I love the characters I love the sacrifice and stuff um the animation is great Bill Cipher is an icon. I like the build-up. I like the twist ending of... No, the twist beginning ending whatever of, like, season one. Season two, whatever. Weird Mageddon was excellent. I like the relationship between the twins. Both of them. Um, Seuss is great. Absolute icon. Wendy is cool. Yeah. I just kind of like Alex Hirsch, too. He, he's good at his job. He knows the shit. Um, okay, next is Pinky and the Brain, like the OG cartoon. I went on a little bit of a bender of Animaniacs after I watched the new reboot on Hulu. I'm going to put this in the A tier. It's, it's, it's like, it's really nice. I like the relationship between the mice. It's adorable. Also, their voice actors are like the most wholesome people ever. They're amazing. They're like the only people who I know the names of. Rob Rob Paulson voices Pinky and Maurice LaMarche voices Brain. Excellent time. Um, I also vehemently believe that the mice are gay because if you've read the comics, then you know what I mean. But yeah, either way, love them. Great community on Tumblr too. Yes, I am on Tumblr. I don't know why I didn't have so much to say about that. Okay, next is The Hollow, which is this little Netflix show. I'm going to put it in like the C tier because yeah, it was nice. It was okay. It was neat, but I literally forgot about it. The twist ending, too, that was nice. But, yeah, as I said, I literally forgot about it when I was getting the images for this here list. So, um, I don't know what that says about it. I would like to personally remember the things that I'm making a tier list of. Next is Kipo in the Age of Wonder Beasts. Immediate S tier and a classic. I watched it with my brother. It was amazing. We, I, I cried, at least. It was excellent it's got the gaze in it beautiful colors amazing music um excellent plot they do it very very well again the relationships between siblings and the family and the twist ending or the vague twist um and in the end it's just one big happy family also the world building is amazing i am a sucker for good world building and just the po the post apocalypse setting, the burrows, the concept, the mute, the mutes as they call that they're called the mutated people, it's just awesome. All right, next is Legend of Korra. I'm going to put that in the B tier. I loved Zhao Fu. No, Zhao Fu, Zhao Fu, yeah. Um, but honestly, personally, oh yeah, and Avatar One, um. It's, it's just, you, if you are at least vaguely familiar about this, with the show, with Avatar, maybe you've heard, like, whispers of it. In my, in my opinion, Korra, the main character of this, is one of the worst Avatars, like, ever. Like, she fucked up so much. And I understand she's a kid or whatever, but seriously, like, she's very reckless. I... I don't know if she, she does get some character development, which is really good, but yeah, it's just, it's, it's ish, it's, it's something. <clears throat> I don't have much to say about it, alright, what's next, um, oh, Milo Murphy's Law, great show, yeah, it's based off of the Murphy's Law, which I think is, I, I heard that it was like an inaccurate thing. So I don't know if it's right, but um, 
It's basically anything that can go wrong will go wrong, and it centers around the kid who is literally the descendant of the person who discovered Murphy's Law. And everything goes wrong around him. I'm going to put that in the A tier, because it's really, really good, but it's not like all, all-time classic. Yeah. Oh, Over the Garden Wall is next. <clears throat> I, I forgot to put Infinity Train on here, so that was sad. Um, All-time classic for me. Because the music is amazing. The setting. The backgrounds. The characters. It's, it's all just comes together. It's great. It's amazing. I don't know if I cried, but it was great. It was just so nice. I went on a tiny bit of a bender of it, like way, way back in 2018, but yeah. I wish I had more to say. I'm just not very good at public speaking, like continuously speaking about something. Okay, Phineas and Ferb, that's an all-time classic. It's great. Actor Age was a great episode. The Second Dimension thing, Harry the Platypus, Fucking doof, doofenshmirtz, absolute Chad. I love him very, very much. Yeah, that, that's one thing I liked about Milo Murphy's Law too. Um, they, they, the great Phineas and Ferb references. They had an entire episode that was a crossover of the two shows. Great time. Um, I, I like the absurd things that Phineas and Ferb just do, like. It's it's so weird. It's crazy. It's it's bonkers. It's amazing. That's a classic. Oh yeah, and the music. I can't I can't do that without. I can't mention the freaking thing without the music. <clears throat> Banger of a time. You won't be bored watching it. <clears throat> okay, Rick and Morty next. Um, there's really not too much I can say about it. The worlds that they go to are very very cool i like just learning about rick and what he does and who he is his issues his struggles it's really interesting but you know i'm gonna put it in b tier because it's not my all-time favorite and there are things i can say about it but yeah it it's it's memorable but it's not crazy crazy memorable don't don't kill me in the comments Okay, lastly, Invader Zim, which is an immediate C tier. I like this show. It holds a place in my heart. I talked about it for like six months straight. Um, but the main issue that I have with it is just how much secondhand embarrassment it gave me in hindsight. Because I, I was a fangirl. I didn't do much of the watching. I've only seen the season one. Because like season two would just kill me just straight up. <clears throat> I, I just kind of took the concept of the show and I ran with it. Fun fact, actually, one, you know that Void World that I was talking about in the first video on my channel is actually about it? It sprang from an Invader Zim roleplay that I was doing. Um, and yeah, so now we're here. Yeah, there isn't much I can say about it. But I can say that it got me into doing art more and definitely contributed to, like, my interest in actual professional art because i'm an artist you can you might be able to tell but i don't know if you can because i mean you've never seen me draw something but yeah so special place in my heart but the secondhand embarrassment is too much yeah so this is my tier list <laughs> suggest suggest more tier lists in the comments if you want to i don't know i'll do it I'm sorry that I ramble a lot in this. Again, I'm not very good at public speaking. I don't have much to say about things. I might need a second to think. But, yeah. Anywho, adios, have fun. I'm doing a peace sign right now, but you cannot tell because I don't have a hand tracker. Bye-bye.